team nervous, but lifts the other. And it was the Rovers who were lifted. They started much the better against an anxious City. Look at that anxious mistake there. That's in Pennell, but what a good save by City's goalkeeper. But Keith Woff was to then find Vaughan Jones's free kick getting past him. 1-0 to the Rovers. Soon Keith Woff, though, redeemed his reputation by an excellent save from Devon White. And what a shame that some spectators insulted White with racist chants. Towards half-time, City began to motor. Gary Marshall's wing play brought the opening, and Alan Walsh the equaliser. Lovely centre, firm header, one all. And soon Alan Walsh showed what a fierce free-kick merchant he can be. Look at that, whack. Carter can't hold it, and, but Devon White there rescuing Rovers. But it was the Rovers starting the second half again the better, especially Andy Reese. How about this for a long-range shot? The same corner of the same net that Gary Smart knocked in Rovers' winning goal last season. But again, the City were to get level, and it was young Fitzpatrick reading the play better from this free kick than Timmy Carter. Again, the Rovers came, and now look out for this marvellous save by Keith Woff. Pennell again dangerous, knocks it in. There's Penrise's header. Woff going the wrong way, gets a hand to it. But City were now to lead for the first time. Joe Jordan's classy header, Moyes in position. A joyful lead, but uh, then came City's chance to surely clinch the result. That's a miscue from Marshall, but Walsh's header is not on target. Well, that man White again was to rattle the City. Getting past Newman, lots of strength, but again, Woff's goalkeeping saves the home side. Then Rovers were to be saved by an offside decision which goes against Steve Neville. Now, watch closely. Is he offside now? I don't think he is. That man on the left kept him on, but the linesman decided it was. And finally, the Rovers were to equalise seven minutes from time when Ian Holloway cashed in on some naive City play. That ball's given away. Now, instead of forcing him outside, City led him inside and he punished them. So as the final whistle went, spectators and players alike 